This is called a Murius Mouse, and this is a European pike lure made famous by Fly vs. Jerk. But today, we're going to be taking this out to extremely deep water and fishing for muskies. We're going to see if this European pike lure can catch big muskies. So today, I'm choosing to launch on a very particular body of water, that being a very deep, clear lake where the primary forage base is Cisco's. I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm gonna be fishing extremely deep water. So we're gonna get out on the lake, get set up, and then I'm gonna go in depth to exactly what I'm trying to accomplish today. So right off the bat, I wanna address the elephant in the room, and that is the deep water. You might be questioning yourself, thinking, well, if we're fishing spring muskies, aren't we fishing generally shallow water? And while that is true, there are plenty of fish up in that shallow water. Some of these fish do slide off into the main lake and feed on suspended bait fish, but, with that being said, don't be fooled. Just because I'm fishing this really, really deep water does not mean these fish are sitting all the way down on the bottom. If they were, it just wouldn't be practical to fish for these fish. Instead, we are keeping our baits like the mouse in that top five to 10 feet of the water column. And what that's gonna do is it's going to allow us to pick out those super active fish that are sitting up higher, feeding on that suspended bait fish. This is also where electronics are gonna come in handy because I'm gonna be able to drive around out here and mark plenty of bait fish. I might even mark muskies. So that's gonna do a lot to boost my confidence. But like I said, there are still fish up in the shallow waters. So if I really wanted to, I could blast up at the shallow waters and see fish, but I don't think they're gonna be as active as these fish out in the main lake. So with that being said, we are gonna get fishing now. The water is still pretty cold. It has been a cold spring, so I'm not sure where these fish are gonna be sitting. All I know is I'm pretty certain if I get a bite out here, it's gonna be a nice fish. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there, that is all suspended bait fish. And you can see that a good chunk of that is about halfway down. So if I switch to my down imaging, you can see we're in 50, 60 feet of water, but that bait fish is only halfway down. So we're keeping our bait right about here because these fish are always looking up. So if my bait is up here above these fish, it's gonna single out my bait. The fish are gonna be way more likely to actually shoot up and actually eat my bait above. So that's why we're keeping our bait so high up. That is living proof right there. That's all I need to see to give me all the confidence I need to stay out here. Dang it. Oh, so close. I just got that front hook on her. Oh, you see, she just kind of came up lazy behind it. She didn't want to come super far up, so I stuck my rod down and then I finally got her to eat. Not a great hook set on my part, and I think she only had one of these front hooks, so that is a tough break. We have a first contact. I've been fishing for a couple hours now and I've actually been pretty discouraged because there just hasn't been a whole lot happening. But you have to keep in mind when you're fishing on the main lake like this, these fish are out here to do nothing but eat. So if they are not in a feeding mood, the odds of you getting a lazy follow, in my experience at least, is very, very low. But we just had that fish come in. She came in behind it, she came in deep and she didn't want to come super far up. So I buried my rod tip down there. I got that lure down to that fish's level and in turn that fish ended up eating. So I didn't get a good hook set on it, only had one hook and she popped off after the surface. It's been a long winter. I might be a little bit rusty, but I think that was mostly just getting unlucky. So we're going to get back to casting, positive sign. The mouse is working. I just want to take a quick second to talk about the Murius mouse itself because there are a lot of cool things you're able to do with this bait that you generally don't see with a lot of fishing lures. A lot of fishing lures like a crankbait or a swim bait, like you, that's it, you know, that's your lure. With the Murius mouse though, there's a lot of different options and that is because that entire back tail is removable. So now if I remove that tail, I'm left with just the head here, which is basically, it looks like a big popper fly and that's pretty much all it is at the end of the day. It just has 
a harness built into it with hooks on it. Now, of course, with that harness, there also is a screw thread. That is a big deal because this gives you the ability to add an infinite amount of possible soft plastic trailers to this bait. So for example, here's another one here where I've added a big nettle lock in, which is a much bigger profile soft plastic bait. And now this small bait has transformed itself into a giant profile bait that is good for something like late fall. Now, of course, today I've just been running it standard the way you're gonna get it out of the box. And that has proven effective so far with that missed opportunity. So I'm gonna get back to fishing because I think eventually today we're gonna cross paths with the fish, but that's not gonna happen as long as I'm sitting here. So I'm gonna get back to casting. Just marked one on side of Magine as I came into my eight. I don't think he was actually, I don't think that fish was on me at all. I think I just went, happened to go over it. At least I'm fairly certain that that's a fish. I'll take a look here. So for those who aren't familiar with side of Magine, that little speck right there is actually my bait appearing while I'm doing my figure eight. One, two, three, four times. And that speck right there I know this looks like this is the bottom, but that's just like interference. The bottom line is actually here. You can see I'm in 54 feet of water. And that is one lone mark about a third of the way down there. And it's, it's tough to see exactly what that is. That is a fish though. It could be just a couple of Cisco's bunched up, but that to me looks like it could potentially be a muskie. Like I said, it's tough to say for sure considering how big of you know the mark is of my bait but that's potentially a muskie we just went over so that is a good sign i guess so potentially right there we might have just marked a muskie on side imaging i can't say 100 percent generally when you mark them on side imaging with the mega side imaging at least you can usually almost certainly say when they're a muskie but when you're out in, in open water and the signal is weak marks can get easily distorted so it's tough for me to say if that was just a couple of ciscos that were bunched up or if that was a muskie or perhaps some other kind of fish. But it is a positive sign to see something out here. I have marked plenty of bait as I fish throughout the day. All of the signs are here for muskies to be out here. We just need to find an active fish. It's a big one too. Oh, he's not giant, but I haven't caught a fish in so long. There we go, baby. T-bone, the merest mouse. Oh, come on, baby, get in that net. Yeah! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I've got my first Minnesota muskie in the net of 2022. I'm so freaking excited. Let's grab the bag and bring it up here and let's take a look at this beauty. Mirus mouse, it works. We're gonna get this girl right back in the lake. Ladies and gentlemen, when we started our quest today, we did not know how it was gonna go. This is my first Minnesota muskie outing of the year. It's been a bizarre winter. We've had late cold temperatures and I had no idea what these fish were gonna be doing. All I know is this lure caught my interest in Sweden. Since I started uploading muskie content to this channel, I've had plenty of people tell me, have you tried the Murius Mouse for muskies yet? I think it would work good. And every single time I said, I'm waiting for the right opportunity to do it. And that opportunity is right now, today. Look at the freaking conditions in the background rolling in. We've got storm fronts rolling in, textbook muskie conditions, early season Minnesota muskies. So you might want to pick yourself up one of these mouse lures because, well, we just caught a beautiful first Minnesota muskie of the year. I think we can all say we love when a plan comes together and most of my plan has come together. The only plan that didn't come together is the weather. I'm about to get kicked off by a big storm, which sucks because I'm pretty sure I can catch more fish. But the main plan that came together today 
was catching a muskie on this mouse lure. This is called a Mirius mouse. This is a European pike lure made famous by Fly vs. Jerk on the main canal gratis channel. And I've wanted to try this for muskies ever since I saw it last June when I was in Sweden. I've had tons of comments tell me to use this lure for your muskies. And we did it today. I've been waiting, like I said, basically a year to use this lure in this exact same scenario. And it came together just the way I imagined it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next video very, very soon.